Well, we're here at the Albany uh, State Capitol, and uh, we're here to say something. The fracking sucks, and we shouldn't do it. We got to protect our water. I um, am a New Yorker. I was born um, and raised here um, in the state. I'm from Buffalo, um, and I think this is an issue that we should all be paying attention to. Um, and while we do have a moratorium right now, um, the fact that or the possibility that we could have fracking after the month of June is scary as can be. Uh, the water system that we have in the state is something that we need to protect and we can't be looking for profits and natural gas is a way out of a bad economy. We need to search for a different way and we can't, once the water is toxic, we can't save it. We need to be fighting for something more and if more people realize that, that would be fantastic. <laughs> And we are learning, we are all learning once again that effective and responsive democratic government doesn't just happen by itself. Sometimes I hear from people, you know, just go do it. Go to Albany and get it done. And do it right, of course. But don't bother me about any of that. Don't bother me. You go do it. You figure it out. Don't expect me to pay attention. Don't expect me to engage with my government to study issues, to weigh in. That's your job, sometimes people say, to legislators, to the governor. Well, yes, it is my job, but in a democracy, it's everybody's job. about how much money the lobbyists are spending to ensure they can do hydrofracking in New York State. They spent a million and a half dollars last year. Boom! But you know what? You all add up to a whole lot more than a million and a half dollars. We're going to make sure that New York is not Pennsylvania. We've learned the lessons of what happened in other states. And we're not going to let that happen here. Thank you. They want to convince us, as they do on so many issues, that the role of government here is maybe to tinker with some regulations, maybe to sort of take a look at some things. But mostly, they want to convince you that the role of your government is to step out of the way and let them do whatever is in their corporate interest, whatever delivers them a profit, whatever will allow them to produce gas for this economy that has a never ending need for that. This is, this is your government, this is our government, and in a democracy, we understand that this is not about pay, putting, putting a, a single industry against the will of the entire people. This is a matter of making sure that we have policies that will protect all of us, that will be in the best interest of everyone. It's so very, very important that we take a good, hard look before we leap. What's at stake is not just a minor bit of activity, but a complete change of land use and potentially the destruction of surface waters and rivers and lakes with frack water mixing with our pure water. That is something that before we in the legislature go forward and before you allow the legislators, my colleagues, to go forward and give approval, we need to do something about it. For one thing, let me just make an observation. The Department of Environmental Conservation does not have the staff right now to oversee this process. Five years yes. Yes. to know what we're looking at, I think that's prudent. Some are going to say that's excessive. They wanted this approval yesterday. People in hell want ice water. We want pure water. That is the legacy of New York. That is why we have communities all across the face of this beautiful state. And what's at stake is a $45 billion industry. Our tourism industry that is able to take advantage of the natural beauty of our land. 
and some of those lands are public lands. And let me just say, it's so very, very important that we protect the old growth forests in our largest state park in Allegheny State Park. And if you want to see what happens, go across the line just south of Allegheny State Park and look at what has happened to the national forest in Pennsylvania. There are people in Australia who are inspired by you. 20,000 people just mount, marched in the south of France against uh, yes, So just to keep that in perspective, I thought it would be a good idea to call President Obama. What do you think? They, they can't pass this Natural Gas Act. They can't continue to give more subsidies and more gimmies to these corporations because they can't do business without breaking the law. They can't make their form of energy development profitable without gaming the system. And that's what they're trying to do right now. They're trying to pass the Natural Gas Act to make it easier to drill. To make it easier and, and more profitable for these companies to operate while you lose. While you actually pay the real costs. So I think we should call, I got the number here. I'm going to put it on speakerphone. I'm going to leave a message and we'll, we'll tell them what we think about the Natural Gas Act. Hi, is this the White House? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Josh Fox. I'm the filmmaker at Make Gasland. And I'm in Albany with a huge crowd of people. We're here to oppose Hydro. Enthusiastic. We also wanted to voice our opposition to the Natural Gas Act. <laughs> oh, we were actually just talking to the receptionist. We have to do it over. Oh no, wait, now there's a well. You get the point. <laughs> um, do that. I'll give you the number. Check out your cell phone. 202-456-1414.